to sing for you. It's not going to happen. Um, welcome. Six String Fun. I'm Richie. This is Six String Fun right there. Uh, we're going to do another one uh, from the 90s. We're going to kind of stay on. I think it was 90s. I was wrong with my last one, but I'm pretty sure this was 90s. Um, Oasis Wonderwall. Uh, great band. Uh, if you got into the music, there's some, some, some really, really good tunes in there. Uh, this is probably the most popular out of all of them. I know sometimes it gets overplayed. But acoustic guitar, if you know how to do it, it's always, again, sing along. People know it. People dig it. So we're going to jump into this one. Before we do that, if you haven't done so, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Lots of things happening. Some new things are going to be happening as well. So if you, if you follow the channel, keep an eye on the community posts. I'm going to have a, um, some stuff going on in there to kind of get some interaction between me and you. Um, and let's get into it. Oasis Wonderwall. So let's get into this one, Wonderwall by Oasis. Um, the chords we're going to use are the chord shapes, at least. A G shape, C add 9, D suspended 4 with your pinky on there. And I guess it's more like an A suspended 4. Um, there's an E minor in there. Actually, the E minor, you're going to... So as we go along, you're going to see that um, your, your index, your um, index, your, your ring finger and your pinky for some of these chords stay anchored there almost the entire song on the... Uh, Again, with the nut being relative here, one, two, three on the third fret of the B in the uh, high E string, your first two strings. Right, so let's take a look. Um, did you see that? It was all the way up there, holy cow. Um, so let's kind of get, number one, the strumming pattern, right? Uh, strumming pattern's a big deal, so let's just kind of take a quick listen to it. So that should be the strumming pattern. Listen to the um, listen to the tune to kind of get that, and uh, we can kind of go from there. I don't know what is up with this shirt; it's poking up everywhere. Not that you really need to know that. So, um, so the the intro, which will also be the verse, um, for the most part, there's one little variation we're gonna go over. Um, look at this thing! Holy cow! I gotta fix that. There we go. Um, an E minor seven, I guess. So you're playing the E minor. But I play it with these two fingers, and like I said, I'm keeping the other two anchored here, so it's going to be open, 2-2, two, two, open, 3-3. Three, three. From there, we're going to a G, straightforward. We're going to go to a D sus 4, so on the, it's going to be open on the 4, uh, second fret on 3, third fret on 2, and really third fret on E. So just a D chord, but we're adding the pinky. We're going to go to an A suspended type of chord. Again, keeping our fingers there, open G, and then we're going to go to the second fret on the D string. Um, you can hit, you, you can include that uh, A string, but I wouldn't put the E in there. Um, just kind of muddies it up, I guess, a little bit, a little too much of the bottom end. But it won't be the end of the world if you hit it right. So, so let's just kind of put the chords together with um, the rhythm pattern we did. So work on that. That's that's most of the song right there, at least trying to get that. Um. That's going to continue on, and we're going to go right into the first verse. That first verse, we're going to play that um, three times, basically, I think. It's going to be... Gonna repeat. We're gonna do it again. I think it's three times. Now, I think most people will play that a fourth time. You can do it, that's fine. But I believe just how I've listened to it and seen other people play it, playing it live, instead of going back to that E minor, we're gonna change up that first chord. We're going to go to the C add 9. Okay? To a D sus 4. To the A sus 4. So listen to the difference here. I'm going to go off of the, the progression we played first, and then I'm going to switch it up so you can kind of hear how it's going to um, add some dynamics to it. Okay? Instead of just playing the same chords, those same four chords uh, repetitively until you go into the first pre chorus, I guess. Um, 
here it comes. Okay, listen to it, you'll hear it. Again, that change up is going to be C add 9 to the D sus 4 to the A sus 4. Now, we are going to go into the, um, I guess the pre chorus, we'll call that. Playing that three times, okay? Or actually, two or three times. You gotta listen. To, I, I'm doing this off of memory. Uh, you think you know it off of memory, and you should write notes, and it doesn't always work out that way. But it's there, you'll hear it. start out again but we're going to change it we're going to walk it down now to a G F sharp to the E minor back to that A suspended four so all together go like this here comes the change up So now we're going to go into the chorus, which is pretty straightforward. Um, it's a C add 9. Your E minor is 7. To the G. To the E minor 7 again. And again, I'm going off of chord shapes. This isn't, uh, you know, when we're talking the key that we're in with the capo here, um, it's not the, it's not a, a proper G, but it's the shape of the G, right? So it's... Listen to the song. Um, there's a lot of little subtleties kind of buried in between the, the, the main tracks that you're hearing. I don't even know if this is in the song, but when we've done it live or when I have played it live, I embellished it a little bit when it came to, um, I guess it was the pre-chorus. When I would go to that E minor, I would just kind of take, pick a couple notes on the, the, the fifth and the fourth string hammers and pull so uh, that's how we, and even this is still an E chord right here I mean it's an E but it's still kind of the you know with, with the other shape that we're doing I would just kind of do some some uh, you know higher octave melody runs some riffs just, just something so play around with it but for the most part that's that's the tune um, if you haven't done so, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. It's much appreciated. Uh, and, and if you do dig the music, you dig the channel, hit the like button. Just it's just a little beep, hit the like button. Um, it'll help that get out to other people who maybe would like the channel as well, you know, like the tunes as well. Um, it'd be much appreciated. As I mentioned early, early on in the video, keep an eye on the community tabs. If you haven't done that yet, the communities uh, section here for the channel. Um, been working on something right now where I'm doing, I guess, the album cover. So take a look at it. It's, it's kind of fun. Um, some good interaction. I'm going to put some polls in there as well. I got some things coming up we're looking to do with the channel. See what you think, if, if you'd be interested in, in, in what I'm proposing, and we'll go from there. So thank you. I appreciate it. Again, this is Six String Fun. I'm Richie. I'll see you on the next one.